a seam Evans with a seam landscaping, your do-it-yourself home gardener. Hey, I want to help all you young guys out there right now trying to earn some extra money. This is where you can do it. Push that lawnmower. Got a nice yard, nice size yard here. You know, it's got some debris and things out there, but that's not really a concern. Really, you want to learn how to cut right now. Cutting yard, you got to have the proper utensil. Don't try and get something that you don't know is not going to work or whatnot. Get a nice mower. Really want to get one you can adjust that has the adjustable height settings from one to five inches. You also want to get one that possibly has a mulching blade. They cut a little bit better, a little bit more even. But in cutting, you want to adjust to the correct height. Check out your terrain. Look at what you're cutting. You want to, even if you don't know the types of grasses, you want to go out. Look at your grass and make sure that you're going to at least bring it down an inch to two inches. So what we have right here now, we've got something growing close to about four inches. So we want to bring it down to about three, three and a half inches. Right now, got, got the mower set for three inches. What we're going to do, fire up the mower. Now here's a cutting procedure that everybody should know. Usually, typically, a lot of landscapers already know you're going to make two passes around your perimeter then you're going to start doing lines left to right some people don't have self propelled and some people have self propelled mowers where they can't pull them back a lot of them now have reverse but you want to do your lines left to right or as they say north south east and west trying to keep everything uniform but like i said a simple type of format do two passes go around your perimeter twice then start your north south east west straight line There are a few things you want to consider as far as while you're cutting your lawn. You want to make sure you make straight lines. Now the lawnmower is going to make a line or a track that you can follow. Just make sure that in that track you always have your interior wheels still attached to that track. Now, as you can see, as it makes a track here, there's going to be a track from which you just came out of to where you're cutting to the new track to where you're cutting. Notice the tires are on the inside, overlap. Make sure that as they stay inside, that means that you're cutting all the grass. You won't have little lines showing where you didn't cut. You always want to show lines where you did cut. No extra work involved. And also, make sure you keep a steady pace because you don't want the lawnmower to bog down in any heavy grass, nor do you want to overcut, meaning you're cutting an area which has already been cut. Keep also in mind also, hold on to your mower steady. Make sure it's firm, no loose, no loose parts, nothing flying around. It's all for your safety and for a well-cut lawn. <laughs> 